Once upon a time, in the village of Amankpo in the western part of Africa, lived two girls, Precious and Chisholm. Raised by her grandmother, Precious was well known throughout the country for her humility and respectability. The villagers loved her for her soft personality and kind acts. Chisholm, however, was a wealthy elder's daughter who lived in the chief's palace. Distinguished by her arrogance and pride, she stood in sharp contrast to Precious. The fact that they remained friends in spite of their disputes occasionally baffled the townspeople. Unaware of her true identity, Prince Chikasso, a young man of noble character, became Chisholm's fiancé. She cleverly concealed her actual nature from the prince, the king, and the elders by presenting herself as friendly and polite. Precious, on the other hand, was adored by everyone due to her sincere kindness and humility, which frequently stood in sharp contrast to her friend. Precious and Chisholm discovered a badly assaulted man who was near death and unrecognizable one fateful day. Because of her innate compassion, Chisholm rudely suggested they leave him, but Precious persisted on helping since she thought he might be a cursed robber or worse. Precious nursed the stranger's wounds in spite of Chisholm's stern protests and unfounded charges against her. She was shocked to learn that he was Prince Chikasso, who had been traveling covertly to learn about the situation of his people. The actual character of Chisholm and Precious revealed itself to Prince Chikasso while he lay recovering in Precious's home. Precious's tender, loving care and real sympathy stood in stark contrast to Chisholm's sporadic and disingenuous visits, which were replete with fake words and arrogance. The prince heard the villagers' stories, which vividly depicted Precious's generosity and Chisholm's well-coned conceit, underscoring their differences even more. Disguised as a visiting villager, Prince Chikasso confronted Chisholm directly and witnessed her callousness and dismissiveness, which validated his misgivings about her nature. When he gently questioned Precious about her actions throughout his recuperation, he was met with unwavering loyalty and commendation for Chisholm, which strengthened his regard for Precious's moral character and compassion. The final incident at a public function revealed Chisholm's true nature, her conceit and contempt being blatantly evident for everyone to see and standing in stark contrast to Precious's unwavering humility. The contradictions in Chisholm's accounts were abundantly obvious when Prince Chikasso put the many observations and stories together, exposing her dishonest character. The revelation of the wounded stranger's true identity to Chisholm during one of her infrequent visits marked an unforeseen moment of truth. When she heard the king's advisor refer to him as Prince Chikasso, she was stunned to learn that the guy she had so blatantly rejected was actually her fiancé. She hastened to the prince's side in an attempt to make up for her error, filling the space with fictitious worry and overly sentimental adoration. But nobody was fooled by her transparent act. In that instant, her actual nature was exposed for everyone to see. Her destiny took an irreversible turn when her connection with the prince, which had previously given her pride and arrogance, broke down due to her acts, ultimately leading to her collapse. The disclosure signaled the beginning of the end for Chisholm's facade and created the conditions for a time in the future when virtue and truth would triumph. Prince Chikasso honored Precious's generosity and honesty by selecting her as his partner after seeing her true heart and noble attitude. The victory of integrity and truth was celebrated with great joy by the villagers. Precious's life changed as she rose to prominence in the palace while maintaining her modesty. Chisholm, on the other hand, was left to mull over her failure, her once proud eyes softening with the first signs of reflection and sorrow. The legend of Precious, Chisholm, and Prince Chikasso spread throughout the village, teaching people the value of character over wealth or appearance, as well as humility and charity. Let this story serve as a reminder to all of us, dear listeners, of the lasting power of honesty, kindness, and humility. May we live up to these values by showing compassion and respect to everyone, no matter what their situation or station. Instead of being like Chisholm, whose arrogance and dishonesty drove her to ruin, let's be like Precious, 
whose great spirit and kind heart shone on everyone around her. By doing this, we make a positive impact on a society where morality, honesty, and sincere compassion are valued. I appreciate your listening. Please feel free to browse other stories on our channel. If you enjoyed what you heard, please subscribe, like, and share our channel. We are really grateful for your support.